Now, I want to go over some things um, uh, in Carlson that are just easier to, to kind of do in a quick video. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to just talk about uh, the, the, the site net uh, a group of commands. So what SiteNet does is it allows us to, to take layers and, and put them uh, in any one of these tabs uh, we wish to and, and we can make uh, uh, they call them targets we, we can make new targets if we want to so we could have uh, different design dates or we could have uh, you know 2d line work um, if it was a big job and these also uh, work good with your um, uh, with your, your CAD standards and, and layering conventions because you can actually load one of these targets in and just kind of put everything in there so it, it makes things a lot easier. Um, so with that said, let me jump over to um, uh, the, the, the offset um, of, a, uh, of a 3D polyline and then this multiple um, uh, command that, uh, uh, that I talked about in the article. and you'll see I've got these things set here. Um, you know, I, I can do any one of the three offsets for each one of these, and I can do uh, the vertical offset based on that slope type. So this says 2%. I could type a minus 2, um, or um, here just leave it at a positive 2. And as I said before, I can come to these things and um, put a layer name in and it'll make a new layer with that name, or I can just come here and and it shows all the layers. So it's it, it's not uh, uh, divided with the uh, um, with SiteNet. So it's it's a little bit easier. And what I'm going to do is is decide which layer I want. I can add it to that, and um, I can also go and add below, or if I'm here, I can insert, and then it puts one above there. So you can you you don't have to worry about um, you know too many or too little. And when the first command first opens up, uh, there's just a bunch of rows in here. So um, when I do that, um, I would take, let's say I'm taking this edge of curve, I'm just going to take it here, pull it this way, and you can see it did uh, the top of curve here, and then the top back of curve, which I just did as an idea, and then I sort of did the sidewalk offset here. Now, obviously, there's not enough room here for it to do that, so it just kind of came and kind of ran it as close as it could. Um, I'll do control Z to get out of that so you don't have to mess with it. Um, another thing I want to talk about is um, uh, edit assigned pie line elevations. Um, this is a tool that allows you to come in and uh, kind of adjust these things. And what I want to do is I'm going to go right to the beginning. Now I can arrow down and, and go to these. And every time you see a called out elevation over here on the right, uh, what that says is. Um, I have a checkbox by this elevation, and it's holding that elevation, and it will slope between all of these until I pick another, uh, what I call a, a solid or, or static elevation. So all these uh, are, are able to change based on being in between any of these called out elevations. So you see here, this is a 7054 uh, to match this uh, LG, which I don't know, we'll call them lower grade, maybe lot grade, I don't know, and they've got top of curb elevation there. Um, and as I said before, a lot of these you can move. Now, what probably happened was uh, our engineer, Chad Lawson, who did this job, um, picked the command um, to uh, add a vertice at crossings. So every time a contour hit, it would add a vertice there. And then um, I can just pick up that elevation and, and enter it there. But if I wanted to move this, and I've highlighted that vertice, what I can do is click on that and then I can move it along the line if I want to do something really stupid. I could move it out this way, which doesn't make much sense, if, at least if you're doing curb. Um, let me highlight that again and move this. And let's say the slope wasn't right and I wanted to come along here and change that a little bit. I could. And it would change the entire complexion of that. Yes, I would need to offset the other lines because they're not uh, dependent on that. But that's just one of those things you can do. And one of the neatest things is, is I highlight this. I will see here. Well, let's go down further a little bit. Um, here we go. So here you see me further in the uh, uh, in the slope, and it's taking me down, and it's also following me on the screen, following me on the slope. So I can kind of see what's going on. See, we've leveled out here. Uh, now the plans over here do call it zero percent, so I, I know I'm doing okay, but 
um, I just want to make sure I am and uh, still zero and it says flat and then we come up to what one percent and change here now they're not calling that elevation out uh, there the slope it's got nine tenths here so the slope over there is 8890 now it's not that I'm going to believe that I've got to follow the engineer slope exact in this area because their rounding could be different it could have been an old call out that was put in when the plans were printed and they changed something later and those didn't get updated so never assume that but what I'm doing is trying to make sure everything looks good where it's supposed to be and I can take and zoom this in if I want I want to come down here a little bit and look at some of these bigger breakovers here see I'm going from uh, a minus 1.2 to a positive uh, almost 3 at 2.8 so I want to make sure that I've got the right things going on here this is just a great way to check and to make sure that that what you've got is not only what the engineer called for but what's going to look good in the long run thanks again any questions or comments please reach out I appreciate it